Hello guys, welcome back, PK here. So in this video, we're gonna be working on this interesting viewer-suggested integral using residues theorem, so stay tuned. Okay, here's the question. The question is evaluate this integral from zero to one, x over 10 inverse x dx. This is pretty tricky integral, but at the end of the day, we'll be using residues theorem. So I'll be using substitution, calling x as just the 10 of u. Okay, then your dx is just going to be equal to then d 10 u. So then we can talk about this has to be just the same as 1 over cosh square u, and then also du. And using this, let's rewrite this integral, but the lower bound and the upper bound should be changing because the graph of this 10 is looking just like this. So that is why your integral has to be from now 0 to infinity. Okay, then we have 10 u. That now divided by u times 1 over cosh square u. Then we have du. Okay, then let's rewrite this again, right? So let me call this integral as the i first. So if you rewrite this, it is just going to be the same as integral from 0 to infinity. And then we have 1 over u. 1 over u times now shin of the u over cosh q u. And then we have du. And then noticing how this integral is an even function, right? Okay, so using this, we can rewrite this as now that the 1 over 2 times integral from negative infinity to positive infinity of everything together. Shin u over u times cosh cube u. Then we have du. Then we need to talk about pole of order 3. at cosh u is equal to zero. So that is why we can come up with this u, which is represented as just un. This is just going to be the same as i times parenthesis pi over two plus n pi, where your n is zero, one, two, and so on, because we'll be using residues theorem. Okay, so based on all of this, what we need to get is now then the 1 over 2. Okay, 1 over 2 times summation from n is 0, 2, now infinity. Okay, then after this, we have 2 pi i times residue of now f and u n. And in this case, f of u. Okay, f of u has to be the same as the shin of u. That divided by u times cosh cube u. And if you multiply 1 over 2 and 2, eventually we need to talk about now just the pi i times summation. n is from 0 to infinity of the residue of f and u n then we should recall f has pole of order 3. At u is un. So that is why we can talk about the residue of f and un using this. So the residue of f and the un. This is just going to be the same as the limit. u is going to un. Okay, then that of now 1 over 2 factorial. That times second derivative of u, and then we have u minus un. And then that has to be now q times f of u. Okay, then let's expand this in terms of u minus un. So we can talk about shin of u. Shin of u has to be the same as then shin of un. Okay, then that plus cosh of 
un. That times u minus un. And that plus shin un over 2 factorial just equal to 2. That times u minus un square. After that, uh, plus cosh un over 3 factorial. That's u minus un cubed plus and so on. And if you consider this for general term, we should have alternating sign. So we have negative 1 to the power of n. And let me make parentheses. Uh, 1 plus 1 over 2 times u minus un. Okay, then square. Close your parentheses plus uh, after this, just the higher order terms. Now we should expand cosh u. So cosh U, let's expand this. It is the cosh of u n uh, plus shin u n times u minus u n. Okay. And then that plus 1 over 2 times cosh u n times u minus u n now square. And then also plus 1 over 3 factorial uh, times shin of un, that times u minus un cubed, and so on. And consider this for the general term. We also have the alternating sign. So it is just the same as negative 1 to the power of n, make a bracket, uh, u minus un. Okay, then that plus 1 over 3 factorial times u minus un cubed, close your parenthesis. So using this, we can talk about 1 over u, right? So first, 1 over u, we can rewrite this as 1 over uh, u n plus u minus u n. So that we can talk about this as pulling this 1 over u n out and make a parenthesis. And inside, we should have 1 over, denominator has to be noted, 1 plus u minus u n, that over u n. And if you work this out, it's just the same as 1 over un. Okay, then that times 1 minus u minus un over un. And then plus, make a parenthesis, uh, u minus un over un squared. And after that, minus parenthesis u minus un over un now cubed. And close your parenthesis. So that is why if you expand this, it is just the same as 1 over un, and then that minus u minus un, that over u and square. And after this, plus uh, u minus u and square, that over u and cube. And then we have minus u minus u and cube over u n to the power of 4. This is what we have. Okay, using all of this, let's talk about u minus u n cubed times f of u. So let's talk about u minus u n cubed times f of u. Okay, then this is just the same as u minus u n cubed. Okay, then that divided by n times just the shin of u. That over um, cosh cube u. Then at the same time, let's expand shin u over cosh u. Okay, if you spend this, then we should have negative 1. It was negative 1 to the power of n. Parenthesis 1 plus 1 over 2 times u minus u n. Uh, square. That divided by cosh part is this, negative 1 to the power of n, parenthesis u minus u n, and then plus 1 over 3 factorial times u minus u n cubed. Okay. Close parenthesis. And then let's keep working this out, right? So it's got to be a couple of lines, so it's just the same as 1 over, okay, let me pull this 1 over u minus u and cube out and make your parenthesis. Then it has to be 1 plus 1 over 2. 
times u minus un uh, square. Okay, then that times 1 minus 1 over 3 factorial times u minus u n. Square entire thing cubed. Also work this out, it's just the same as 1 over u minus u n cubed. And inside of this part, it has just the same as 1 plus 1 over 2 times u minus u n squared. Still, that times uh, 1 minus 1 over 2 factorial. That times u minus u n just the square. And if you work for just one more line, we can simplify this a lot. So this is just the same as 1 over u minus u n cubed. Okay, then that times parenthesis 1 minus 1 over 4. That times u minus u n uh, to the power of 4. Close your parenthesis. So that's why eventually this is just the same as 1 over u minus u n. Entire thing cubed. So that's why this u minus u n cubed times f of u that we are looking for. Okay, then this is just going to be equal to 1 over u. And so that we can talk about the residue of f and u n. This is then going to be 1 over 2 factorial um, and second derivative of u to the power of negative 2. This is just going to be um, u to the power of negative 3. And of course, at u is u n. So this is just a 1 over u cubed. Now let's talk about the integral. This 1 over 2 times integral from negative infinity to infinity of f of u du. Okay, then this is just going to be the same as 2 pi i times summation from n is 0 to infinity. After that, we have 1 over 2 times 1 over u cubed. So this is then going to be just the same as 2 pi i over now 2. That times summation from n is 0 to infinity. And after this, we should have a fraction. 1 over uh, parenthesis i times uh, pi over 2 plus 2 n pi, entire thing cubed. So this is why what we need to work on has to be simply pi times summation from n is 0 to infinity of everything should be calculated as 2 cubed. 2 cubed divided by pi plus 2 n pi entire thing cubed. So if you calculate this, it has to be just the same as your numerator has to be 8 and then over pi squared and then that times summation from n is from 0 to infinity. And then we should have only 1 over parenthesis 1 plus 2n cubed. So this is why this is just going to be the same as 8 over pi squared of summation when your n is an odd number of 1 over n cubed. Okay, then let's talk about Riemann zeta of 3. This is just the same as summation of the n 1 over n cubed. So we can represent this as two summations, right? When your n is odd of 1 over n cubed, plus summation when n is even of 1 over n cubed. So that is why this has to be the same as summation when n is an odd number of 1 over n cubed. And then that plus, this is simply 1 over 8 times summation of 1 over n cubed. Then we can talk about Riemann zeta of 3, right? So this is just the same as then summation n is an odd number still of 1 over n cubed. And then plus, this whole thing is just the Riemann zeta of 3. 1 over 8 times Riemann zeta of 3. So putting all of this together, so we should have then 7 over now 8 times Riemann zero of 3. And then this is represented as a summation. And n is an odd number of 1 over n cubed. So that is why this integral that we are looking for. So integral i that we are looking for, it was integral from 0 to 1 
x over tan inverse of dx, dx. This is going to be the same as now 8 over pi squared. That times 7 over 8 times Riemann zeta 3. So this is the same as 8 over pi squared. That times 7 over 8 times Riemann zeta of 3. And eventually it has to be the same as 7 times Riemann zeta of 3 over pi squared. So this is the answer for the question. Because a pretty tricky viewer suggested integral using residues theorem. How amazing.